Hello students, this particular question is from GATE 2017 Mechanical Morning Session. If a die is rolled many times, what is the mean of the outcomes? We have to find the mean of the outcomes given that okay, the die is rolled many times. So many times means it is going to be 1 time, 2 time, 3 time, 4 time, 5 time, 6 time, 7 time and we are not sure about what is the mini. It can be infinite also. It's a very big number. Now for example, if I consider the random variable, we have learned about the concept of random variable. Now random variable is something which can take any value which we cannot predict. Okay. Now I am considering a, a discrete random variable x which is going to indicate the number of rollings. How many times I am going to roll. For example if x is equal to 1 it means that I am rolling it one time. x is equal to 2 it means that I am rolling twice. x is equal to 3 it means that I am rolling thrice. Similarly x is equal to 10 means you are going to roll 10 times. Now if I consider if I am rolling it one time. Now in the case where I am rolling it one time then how many outcomes am I going to have? Out can can be anything. It can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3. It's already given it is a fair die. Now when it is mentioned that it is a fair die, then the probability of any outcome is equal to 1 by 6 because it's going to be a 6th phased die. It's going to have 6 phases. So the probability of any outcome is going to be 1 by 6. But we know that when you are try if when you are rolling it once, you're going to have one outcome. So the probability of that particular outcome, probability of any outcome. If you consider the probability of any outcome, the probability is equal to 1 by 6. When you are rolling it 2 times, in case if you are rolling it 2 times, then the probability of an outcome, because you have, for example, if I am talking about the probability of having 2, 2 times. Okay, so probability of having a, a number 2, 2 times, the probability is equal to 1 by 6 whole square. So similarly for any outcome, the probability is going to be 1 by 2, 1 by 6 whole square. So if you are rolling it thrice, then the probability of any outcome is going to be equal to that of 1 by 6 whole cube. 4 times, it's going to be 1 by 6 whole power 4 and so on. Now, mean is nothing but the expectation and we know the formula for expectation. Expectation is nothing but sigma, the value of the probability function, okay, the random variable x. Now when the value of x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2, it is going to be 2, x is equal to 3, it is going to be 3, x is equal to 4, it is going to be 4. Now the probability associated with it. If I can call it as probability of x is equal to x, now this is going to be probability of x is equal to x. Now I have to, I have to take all the events. Now I am going to have 1 multiplied by 1 by 6, 2 multiplied by 1 by 6 whole square, 3 multiplied by 1 by 6 whole cube, plus so on. I can write it as 1 by 6 as common, 1 plus 2 into 1 by 6 plus 3 into 1 by 6 whole square plus so on. This is equal to the top 1 by 6 into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 6 whole square. Why it is so? Because we have a 1 minus 6 whole square is nothing but 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus so on. So using this particular logic we can write it as Okay, I have taken 1 by 6 as common, now you are having something like 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus so on. So I can write it as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 6 whole square, so it is equal to 1 by 6 multiplied by 36 comes to the numerator, the denominator you have 25, so it is equal to the top 6 by 25. Okay, so the answer is 6 by 25, which is going to result in something like 0.24. Okay, so the key here is that you have to get a particular thought that you can consider the random variable as equal to the number of rollings, number of times you are going to roll a particular die. Now after considering it, because it's a fair die, the probability of any outcome is going to be equally likely. It's going to be 1 by 6. Okay, if it is a 1 time, it's going to be 1 by 6, 2 times, 1 by 6 whole square, 3 times it's going to be 1 by 6 whole square. Now we are using the concept of expectation. Okay, we know that it's a very important concept, the expectation, and the con question has actually come from the concept of expectation. Okay, anyway, the answer is equal to 0.24, so you have to answer the fill in the blank as equal to 0.24.